So today I wanted to share with you one of the number one things that keep light workers, teachers, and healers moving forward with their calling to create a transformational experience. So today I wanted to share with you one of the number one things that keep light workers, teachers, and healers moving forward with their calling to create a transformational experience for others. And part of the thing that really holds them back is their doubt that they have come far enough on their journey. They doubt that they are good enough to actually serve as a catalyst in someone else's growth process. So I specifically help spiritual teachers, healers, light workers, and coaches that are feeling called to use entrepreneurship as a vehicle to get their message and their gift out into the world. And they really desire on a deep level to create a transformational uh, container for their ideal client. Now, really fine tuning who your ideal soulmate client is, is key. And that's another video, but that is not ultimately what's holding them back. Maybe there is some confusion, at least at the beginning, on who they truly serve and who their soulmate client is. And so it is really imperative to get clarity around that. But ultimately, they still feel, many that I talk to feel, that they are not good enough or qualified enough to operate as a catalyst or a coach or a mentor in someone else's experience. And I wanted to just squash this concern if you're watching this video, because first and foremost, you do not have to be an ascended master on your journey before you're able to give back and help somebody. Second, you are likely taking for granted your entire transformational journey. And as you have you know, really made strides in your own transformational journey, it's highly likely that you are discounting how far you have come, everything that you've learned, and you're often mistaking so much of your knowledge and wisdom that you bring to the table as common. And it's not common. The person that is really here that needs your help right now is still, you know, one, two, three, five, ten years behind you. And they still are learning what you now take for granted that you've learned along your journey. And so your job as a transformational coach and a light worker and a healer and a way shower is not to wait until you are quote unquote perfect, which I think you already know that doesn't exist because you are on the spiritual journey. You are expanding, you are growing, you are evolving, and you are learning as you go, and you are and you are continuously on this path of expansion. And so recognize that this is the ego that is telling you you're not good enough or that um, is causing you to doubt whether or not you can show up in a powerful way and hold sacred space for others' uh, transformation. And so this is really key for you to understand that there are people that are stuck where you used to be and you have the knowledge and the wisdom, not only the experiential knowledge that you've gained along your journey, which was, you know, not by accident, but also the ancient wisdom that is, you know, being channeled through you. And when you trust in that, you will be aligning with your highest path. Spirit is using you as a vehicle and a vessel to draw on your personal experiences so that you can resonate to, with other people in a real way while also helping to um, serve as a catalyst uh, in other people's growth process by channeling divine wisdom and ancient wisdom that is meant to be shared, that is coming to you and through you. And I see so many light workers, healers, and teachers doubt their gift. Oftentimes, just the presence, just being in your presence as an energetic catalyst, as a shifter, as an activator, that is enough to help propel people on the next leg of their journey. But yet, I see so many stuck 
frustrated, spinning their wheels, afraid to share their gift, afraid to speak their truth, afraid to charge for their services and offer a program that allows people to get the transformation that they are looking for. Um, and this largely stems from the self-doubt that they are just not good enough or that they don't value the transformation that they bring to the table, the wisdom, the the ancient knowledge, the experiential wisdom, and all of the tools and the modalities and everything that you're so well-versed in that you now take as common. Um, and so I just wanted to bring this to your attention because I see this stall a lot of very gifted healers and light workers in their tracks. And instead of sharing their message and gift with the world, they are playing small and they are feeling the call to share and feeling the call to go big and feeling the call to make this their purpose driven, you know, business and things like that. But yet then they, they backpedal and they hide and they stifle their voice and their truth and what they're here to share. And so if this is happening to you, I welcome you to really sit down with pen and paper and do a journaling exercise where you really start to journal out all of the things that you have learned over the course of your transformational journey. And just let it sort of pour out of you without any judgment and without any, you know, narrative or story in your mind like, oh, well, this isn't that important. Everybody knows this, you know, that kind of voice that pops up because that's not true. When you think about how many billions of people are on the planet needing healing, needing, you know, guidance, needing to clear or alchemize so many of the belief systems and the programming and all of that that's keeping them down and that are stepping onto the awakened path. There are so many people that are not versed in what you know. You are way sure you are going first as a new paradigm leader into this, you know, global awakening to higher consciousness. You are helping to pave the way for that. And you have to recognize that the masses are not well versed in what you consider common knowledge now. So take pen to paper, sit down, self-reflect and journal out all of the experiences that you've had and everything that you've learned and all of the, you know, techniques and all of the things that you incorporated and integrated and embodied along your journey to get you from where you were to where you are now, because that process is the gold, is the magic that other people stuck in your old shoes are waiting for you to share. So I hope this finds you well, and if it inspired you in any way, I'd love to hear from you. Please drop a comment below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And if this really resonates with you, then I welcome you to check out my Soul Align Success Masterclass, which is also below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. If, if the masterclass then resonates with you, you will be invited to hop on a 60-minute strategy session with me where I help you map out your soul-aligned, freedom-based blueprint for your business so you can go big with your mission, make a massive global impact while also leveraging your time and creating the freedom and flexibility in your life that you desire. So I hope this video finds you well, and until the next one, namaste.